Okay, number two says you launch a ball at 60 degrees on level ground with a muzzle velocity of 100 meters. So 60 degrees looks more like this with a muzzle velocity of 100 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees. Uh, how long is it in the air? How high does it go? How far does it go? Now I did this exact same speed as the last problem so you could kind of compare them. My guess, how long is it in the air? I bet it's in the air for a lot longer, something bigger than 14.4. How high is it in the air? I bet it goes a lot higher because than 255. How far? I bet it goes not as far. So when I get these numbers, I'm going to compare them over to what I got in question one just to see what's going on. So I'll, again, I'll break it down into its vertical and its horizontal pieces. VI, VF, ATD, velocity, distance, and time. So I have to break this into its X and Y components. So this down here is going to be 50. This right here is going to be 86.6. I did that. I, I know the secret ninja ways because this is always half of a, that's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, half, and 86.6. Or I could use the sine and cosine. You know, I could say that the sine of 60 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, 100. So if I take 100 sine 60, I get 86.6. So if you don't know the ninja ways, that's okay. So... My initial velocity vertically is 86.6. My acceleration is negative 9.80. The time, and the dis uh, oh, my horizontal velocity is 50. All right, so let's again utilize this point. The velocity there is zero. So I can use VF equals VI plus AT. Final velocity, zero. Initial velocity is 86.6. Negative 9.8 T. So the time comes out to be 8.84. Now be careful. It's 8.84 seconds to the very top. How long is it in the air? You've got to double that. And you get 17.7. 17.7 .7 seconds. So, first of all, it should be in the air longer. Good. Part B, how high does it go? That's going to be a distance problem, a, a vertical distance. So, initial velocity, 86.6. The time, the time to right there is the 8.84. So then I crank this through on my calculator. So 86.6 times 8.84 plus 1 half times negative 9.8 times 8.84 squared. 383. So that's how high it goes, 383 meters. And I compare it. It should go higher than my last one because I'm launching it more straight up. Good. That checks out. Now, it shouldn't go as far. How far does it go? It should be less than that. So we do velocity is equal to distance over time, the velocity being 50. The distance is unknown. The time, the time it takes for the whole thing, that's the 17.7. So you take 50 times 17.7, .7 and you get 885. And yes, it doesn't go as far as that, which is good. 